Now, hi again, everybody. We're back. Kyle's Beer Review, second one today. Uh, picked up some more pumpkin beers. Uh, Jungle Gems while I'm at Kick. Of course, I ain't going to shave this up. Just a quick shower there. Just polish up the, the uh, Beta Pecan Ale. Great beverage. Uh, for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have an old classic. This is the Blue Moon Brewing Company, the Harvest Pumpkin Wheat Ale. Blue Moon. Out of uh, Golden, Colorado. Everybody familiar with Blue Moon. Uh, this is actually a really good pumpkin beer in the years past. Uh, last year was down a bit, but still solid. And a couple years ago was one of the more better ones, the more elite in my opinion. And it says, brewed with real pumpkin, limited release, harvest pumpkin wheat. Uh, they didn't do a whole lot on the bottle. Uh, Blue Moon Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Checks in at 5.7% alcohol by volume. Again, 5.7%. Oh, uh, you know, Blue Moon to me, it's kind of like a line of I uh, Sam Adams, uh, serviceable for you craft beer rookies, if, if you would, would not. Uh, you know, better than a Budweiser, better than a Coors, better than a Miller, all that, yada, yada, yada. But not a, not on a real, real, we call this, this would be, in the words of craft beer, maybe a moderate company. Some good beers at times, serviceable, drinkable, but nothing too crazy. Uh, but I do enjoy some Blue Moon beers occasionally for the price and... You know, they made a really good uh, sriracha ale, uh, sriracha cinnamon ale, very good. The cappuccino oat milk stuff everything was really, really good as well. And, you know, the Blue Moon Belgian White, the classic, is still good. And an Applebee's or a Bee does with an orange peel. It, it You know, a slice of orange in there. It's a good beer with the wings or, you know, an entree. So I got nothing against Blue Moon at all. And uh, that's all I got to say about that, basic. This is a twist off, folks. Oh, good pumpkin aroma. I can tell you that right now. So our Blue Moon bottle cap there. Uh, good pumpkin aroma out of the bottle. A little bit of smoke on this one. 5.7. So a little, a little spike. Uh, surprisingly enough, I do not have a Blue Moon glass. And look again, folks. Mr. Uenta. Seems like Uenta getting used for a lot of glasses. Uh, really shocking. I don't have a Blue Moon glass. I didn't do a lot of Blue Moon pint night. and Never really invested in that. So let's go ahead and get a pour and get a nose on the 2017 edition of the Blue Moon Harvest Pumpkin. Now, scattered shower out there hanging on. Uh, scattered across the area tonight uh but but a nice day you know relatively mild 85 86 degrees here uh walk it, look at the head on that beer wow don't know if i poured that poorly oh my goodness yeah i did with the glass that is you can fit all this out of the bottle here a large amount of head that's going to be an overflow my goodness Good pumpkin aroma, my man, oh man. This has always been one of the better pumpkin beers. Uh, probably in the top five, usually. Look at the head on that. I don't know if I poured that poorly. There's the color. That is tremendous. That is ridiculous. I don't know what that said. Uh, but again, like I said, Blue Moon is serviceable. It's a Sam Adams, Sierra Nevada, maybe Atlantic Cougars. I throw Sierra Nevada a little bit above. Those other two. I think they make some really quality good beers. The Sam Adams and Line of Kugels is not. But back to the Blue Moon, the head dissipating. Uh, I'll give this a shot. 5.7%. So this will be my second pumpkin beer review. Third pumpkin beer I'm going to try. I'm going to get the ballast point after I polish this off. Uh, was not impressed with the Weibacher. I just, to me, it was just a it just a, a fall bomb. Yeah, you know, it, it's his fall beer. Football, bonfires, hoodies, you know, Halloween, great you know, changing the seasons, all that fine, but no pumpkin for me. I thought they didn't have any pumpkin last year, and it was worse this year. This had settling pretty quickly here, at about a three-quarter inch. Look at the, some lovely carbonation there, yeah. Nice copper. Yeah, this is fall. Nice copper, amber color, and a good, uh, you know, a good aroma to this. Uh, definitely tell there's some raw pumpkin in there, uh, some pumpkin vines, like pumpkin seeds. Uh, some malts in there as well. Definitely some some uh, some breadiness. Possible cinnamon and nutmeg, not sure. Uh, this says pumpkin wheat. I, I don't, this has not said pumpkin wheat in the past, but uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Thanks to, thanks to the boys at Blue Moon continuing to their craft. Uh, again, brewing is hard work, and it's an art. And Even though they're not an elite brewery and frowned upon by many, I still want to say thanks to the boys at Blue Moon. Cheers. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, 
this is it's definitely it's not as full bodied as last year. Seems like it's a lighter beer. It says pumpkin wheat. I don't know if there was a wheat beer last year. I have to check that. If I have a bottle of that of last year's or not. I don't believe I do. I, I this is not a bad beer. Sessionable, drinkable. Uh less pumpkin than last year. I I, I don't know if it's budget cuts. And <laughs> the same with the wife. I don't know. Uh this is there's a very, very small, small hint of pumpkin at the end of this. Uh very, very subtle pumpkin at the very end. Uh Get another taste as the head continues to settle down. It not a lot of pumpkin for me. It's a sessionable beer, pretty good amber kind of flavor. Some malts in there, some lacing as well. So that's pretty cool, and still some lovely carbonation. Let's get another swig. Yeah, that's weak. I, I, I don't. I hate. I really. I'm not trying to be negative and knock anybody because I'm not. I have not brewed. I just like drinking beer. Way down from years past. Uh, minimal pumpkin at the end. A light, a light start up front. You know, this was always one of my Blue Moon go-tos was the Harvest Pumpkin, and maybe this is just the first batch and the spices have not settled. You know, my buddy Ferdinand was telling me he said pumpkin beer is the spices need to settle for a month or two. You know, you like fresh beer, but at the same time, spices in a bottle. They don't settle on the keg. They move around more. See if I can find a a brute on date on this. I'm sure it's very, very fresh. Yeah, I don't know. Blue Moon should have a bottled stamp on there. I don't know if they do or not. Yeah, let's see that. You know, but uh, I just it's very drinkable. I don't want to say it's weak in the fact that it's not. It's there's nothing wrong with it per se. And I'm gonna say it's a C plus. Ah. Uh, for what it is. I mean, I... Uh, this will be my last time drinking this year. I may buy it towards my birthday in October. Not going to mess with it again. I got a six-pack of it so I can polish it off. Uh, it's serviceable, but nothing too crazy. C+. Plus. And suffice it to say, I think I'm over two on the pumpkin. And maybe it's just because I'm a pumpkin head and I do this every year. And I drink them this first day they come out. But I'm over two. I just... Just not a whole lot to that. A little bit of pumpkin on the back end. The pumpkin does go down in the end, but it's so minimal. On a pumpkin scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this a 3, same as the wine bucket. It's not. And I don't know if it's budget cuts and trimming of stuff, of spices. And there's a little bit of cinnamon clove in there on this as well. But this is, yeah, it's drinkable. I mean, some lacing. C+. Plus. It is what it is. Uh, I'll see you guys back here in a few minutes for the Ballast Point. Hopefully, you know, I wanted to try that one last. That was really good last year. Hopefully, we get some pumpkin in that. But I'm going to say 0 for 2 on the pumpkin house. It's not... Not coming through in the flavor that I would like. So C plus for me. Uh, not enough pumpkin. See you in a few, boys. Bye.